What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to include R or the R kernel inside of Jupyter Lab. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to learn how to add R as a possible language, as a possible kernel to Jupyter Lab in this video today. And for those of you who don't know what R is, it's a programming language focusing on statistical computing and on statistical programming. So whenever you go into pure statistics, R can be a better choice uh, than Python. If you don't go into machine learning and deep learning and stuff like that, if you go into pure statistics, R is oftentimes the language that you're going to go with. And chances are that you have to use it maybe for university, for work, uh, or just because you want to use it because there are some packages that are better in R than in Python. And the thing is, there is this R Studio environment, but maybe you prefer working with JupyterLab. And if you install JupyterLab with pip, because you're using Python primarily, you don't have R support right away. So for those of you who also don't know what uh, JupyterLab is, I'm going to show you real quick. Um, I can just type JupyterLab here because I have it installed already. I'm going to show you the command here in a second. Uh, I can open up this JupyterLab instance. I'm on my desktop right now, and you can see I can create an IPython notebook. So Python 3. And here I have individual cells, I can create multiple cells, they can contain Python code. So import numpy as np, import pandas as pd. And I can run individual cells like this, I can run a print statement here. And I don't have to run all the cells every time I want to run something, I can run individual cells of code, which is quite useful when doing data science. But as I said, you can only use uh, by default, if you install it using pip, you can only use Python. So you don't have R support. This is what we're going to learn how to add in this video today. Now, first of all, if you don't have Jupyter Lab, all you have to do is you have to say pip or pip3 install Jupyter Lab like this. And this is going to install Jupyter Lab. Um, and yeah, then you have Jupyter Lab installed. Now to add R, of course, you need to have R on your system. Now I'm not going to show you the R installation, it differs from operating system to operating system. But I assume if you're watching this video, you already have R installed. So what we're going to do first is we're going to type Jupyter kernel spec list. And this is going to show us all the kernels that we have for Jupyter lab. In our case, or in my case here, only Python three, I have no R support. So what I can do is I can run the command capital R to open the R shell. And of course, if you're running this on Windows, you have to add it to the path variable when you install it on Linux, it's usually by default edit. Um, and now I can run the following command install dot packages. And by the way, you can also run this in R studio if you want to install packages IR kernel, it's the same as IPython, but IR because the language is R install packages IR kernel then it's going to do the installation. And what you want to do then is you want to call a specific command, you want to call from IR kernel, you use two colons to specify that you want to call a function here, install spec. And in here, we're going to say user equals true, because we only want to install it for this specific user. So I run this, it installs it, I can say quit, I don't want to save the work image. And now I have it installed. So I can say Jupyter lab, let me go to desktop, Jupyter lab, again. And what I get here is, in a second, the possibility to run some R code. So for example, I can go ahead now, it still says IPython notebook, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. You can see the R kernel is running here. And I can do whatever I want, you know, I can do stuff like um, a assign to a the value 10 assign to b the value 20 and stuff like that. And then I can say a yeah, so you can basically run R code here, you can do all the plots, you can you can basically use R the same way you would use it in R studio, but you would have this Pythonic Jupyter notebook type of um, interaction where you have the plots directly under the cells, you don't have all your code where you just press control enter, you don't have this separate window for the plots, you can use this like an like a Python notebook, essentially. And of course, if I now go ahead and I show you, let's quit here. Oh, yes. Uh, when I show you here again, Jupyter kernel specifications list, then you can see we have this IR kernel. And if I want to remove it, because I'm no longer coding in R, I can just say Jupyter kernel spec uninstall IR. And then this is going to remove the IR kernel. And you can see I only have Python anymore. And this, of course, works not just for Jupyter lab, it also works for the ordinary Jupyter notebook. 
So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.